Alright, hello guys, and welcome to my official summer forecast for 2019. Before I get started with this video, if you are new to the channel, I would recommend that you do subscribe. I make plenty of videos like this one. I also am going to be making forecasts for hurricanes that happen, severe weather events, also winter storms once we get along to the winter time. All, lots of seasonal forecasts and monthly forecasts as well, so lots of exciting stuff coming up. I'm, I'm going to be making my fall forecast, my first fall forecast, and then my hurricane season forecast in the coming days. So look forward to those videos. Let's get started with this one, though. Uh, we're going to be looking at our temperature forecast comparative to normal and you can see at the top there temperature anomalies so you can see there's above average and below average and there's three color shadings um, we don't usually get into the third one that would be like an extreme but uh, we do you do see we do get into the second shade of warm here uh, and I'm gonna go over that right now so on the west coast you can see we do have above average temperatures in that second shade of orange that means that we're really expecting some warmer temperatures there for Washington Oregon California and Nevada in the general orange area though or that kind of yellowish color I don't really know how to describe it, and it kind of does a U-shape along the entire United States and covers both coasts. That's where we have a pretty decent confidence in above average temperatures, but it might not be too noticeable. You can see there on the East Coast as well, we do have above average temperatures there for North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, uh, Pennsylvania, and up through the New England coast as well. Uh, and that's where we're expecting, again, that second shade of orange. But again, that U-shape there uh, with the cold in the middle has kind of been the trend since last fall. So we've been seeing a lot of that. And I know this does look very similar to my June forecast, if you did see that one. If you haven't seen that video already, I'd recommend you do watch that one as well. Because uh, that's going to be quite important if you care about what June's going to be like. Uh, but it does look pretty similar to June. And that's because that's one-third of this forecast, if you think about it. So one-third of this forecast is June. Um, so... That's why it would look quite similar, but we do have those colder temperatures uh, in the central United States. So basically, from the Dakotas down through Oklahoma, and then back up into the ha like half of the Great Lakes states there, Wisconsin and um, into Chicago there. So that's where we're expecting a, a general chance at below average temperatures. Again, it's only that first shade, so it won't be quite noticeable, but it might be in some areas. Now we're going to move on to your precipitation forecast. So you can see there's two areas of slightly below average uh, precipitation there so northern California into into Oregon and Washington and then there for southern California and southern Arizona as well we do expect slightly below average precipitation again in the slight you you probably won't notice it too much and you can see we have a lot of above average precipitation from Idaho and Montana basically the Rockies all the way to the east coast in kind of the central United States there uh, and then we do have that medium shade of green going on for Idaho and Montana basically the northern Rockies down into the southern Rockies and into Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. So that's where we're expecting some low pressure systems throughout the summer to, to kind of arrive. And we're going to be seeing above average precipitation in that area in the medium shade. So it should be uh, noticeable in that area. I wanted to mention something real quick. I am going to be doing a breakdown of this forecast either today or tomorrow or the next day. At some point here coming up, there will be a breakdown of this forecast, just like I did for the June forecast. So you'll see a lot more of my reasoning behind the things that I'm calling for in this video. Now we're going to move on to my overall forecast. And again, I always say this. I always love the way these ones look. They, they just turn out so beautiful because there's so many colors going on. I just love it. Now we're going to move from west to east here. You can see in the northwestern United States, we're expecting below average precipitation there for Oregon and Washington. Uh, and in surrounding that area, we have above average temperatures there for Washington, Oregon, Nevada, and California. We saw that in the precipitation and temperature forecast. And then you can see for the southwest United States, southern California, southern Arizona, southern New Mexico, we're expecting below average precipitation as well. Now we're expecting stormy conditions for Utah, Colorado, northern portions of Arizona, and New Mexico and a little bit of the northern Rockies there as well. That's where we're expecting some low pressure systems to be moving in and it could be a little bit colder than normal in those areas just because those low pressure systems. You can see in that light blue shade uh, we're expecting colder than normal conditions for Texas, Oklahoma up through the Dakotas there. That's where we're expecting uh, slightly colder than normal temperatures to maybe a little bit noticeable. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. And in that red area, we're expecting severe thunderstorms to be the most likely in this area. Obviously, there will be severe thunderstorms outside of this area, but that looks like the most favorable area as we're expecting above average precipitation. And that's kind of where the um, the colder and the normal or the colder than normal temperatures and the warmer than normal temperatures meet. So that's right in between. So that's where we're expecting kind of the transition. And that's where, you know, the most favorable conditions for severe weather are going to set up most likely. Temperature swings for this yellow section uh, there in northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and northern Michigan, or mostly uh, all of Michigan. 
So that's where we're going to expect, again, just like my June forecast, temperatures to swing from warm to cold a lot. Now, in the coastal regions of the eastern United States and the Gulf Coast, we're expecting a question mark for hurricane season. Again, I'm going to have my hurricane season forecast out soon, probably in the next week. Uh, as hurricane season starts today so it's going to be a little bit late but i put a question mark for hurricane season because you're going to have to wait and see uh, what my forecast is for the hurricane season now many thunderstorms there for that green section from illinois eastward and that's going to extend into virginia north carolina and delaware and new jersey i wanted to mention but i thought that the question mark for hurricane season is a little bit more um I don't know. I put that above the many thunderstorms, but that area does extend all the way to the coast. I just wanted to mention that. And that's where I'm expecting above average precipitation. So you should expect more thunderstorms going on with the warmer temperatures as well. Uh, that's what I would expect as far as conditions for that area in that green section. Now for the New England states and Northeast states, we're expecting above average temperatures, just like the West Coast there. Um, and this should be quite noticeable for a lot of these areas. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you do subscribe if this was your first video. Again, I'm going to have many more seasonal and monthly long range forecast coming out very soon very exciting stuff and I hope that you can be a part of the future of this channel as my new computer is arriving Monday I'm gonna be very excited to upload for you guys so I just can't wait for the future of this channel and, and there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up very soon anyway guys I love you all and I hope to see you in the next video